In a world where the boundaries between man and machine are blurring, young programmer Caleb gets a chance to take part in a revolutionary experiment. He is invited to a mysterious laboratory where his task is to determine whether the artificial intelligence developed there has consciousness and can replace a real woman. Young programmer Caleb Smith learns that he has won a unique opportunity to visit a scientific laboratory where a talented billionaire genius wants him to test an artificial intelligence developed by him. Created in the guise of a sexy girl, very soon he is in a private helicopter flying to the billionaire's remote property hidden deep in the mountains, arriving at the place. Caleb receives a pass to enter the unassuming at first glance building. Inside, he is greeted by a good-natured bearded man named Nathan. This man turns out to be the owner of the lab and asks Caleb to sign a non-disclosure agreement. He then announces that he has created an artificial intelligence and that Caleb is to test it. At the first session, the guy encounters a robot named Ava, who has a strikingly realistic physiognomy. They get acquainted during a short conversation and agree on the next meeting, while Nathan watches Caleb closely from the monitor screens excited by the experience. Caleb shares his impressions with the creator of the artificial intelligence, trying to understand the scientific aspects of how the system works. However, the robot's creator asked him to concentrate on evaluating the behavior of the artificial intelligence without going into technical details, to which Caleb, stunned by the emotions he has experienced, replies that he is simply amazed later, unable to sleep from excitement. Caleb decides to relax and watch TV, but as he turns it on, he notices Ava, and as he follows the robot's actions through the monitors, the power suddenly goes out in the lab. Caleb tries to get out, but the door turns out to be blocked and opens only after the power is restored. Moving to the next room, the protagonist meets Nathan, who is sitting on a couch drinking a beer. When he asks about the reason why he was unable to open the door, Nathan refers to security measures and advises the guy to go to bed, assuring him that everything is under control. The next morning, the young man's sleep is interrupted by an Asian woman, Kyoko, who enters and brings him a cup of hot coffee. At the second meeting, Ava shows Caleb her illegible drawings. The boy asks her to draw something clearer to which she offers him to be her friend and inquires about Caleb's life story. The protagonist shares a story about his past and the tragic death of his parents, which causes visible sadness on the robot's face. In the midst of their conversation, there is a sudden power outage and the security cameras stop working. At this point, Ava gets serious and emphatically advises the guy not to trust Nathan. At dinner, Nathan questions what was going on during the blackout, since he didn't see or hear anything. Caleb, like a true gorilla, remains silent and gives nothing away. The next day, the protagonist accompanies his guest to the laboratory where Ava was created. There, a colleague describes a completely new and revolutionary technology for creating an artificial brain for a robot that draws information from Nathan's internet search engine called Blue Book. At the beginning of the third session, Ava demonstrates a drawing of a tree. Caleb realizes that she has never gone outside of this building. He asks the question of where she would go if she could leave this place, and Ava expresses her desire to visit a crowded place accompanied by the protagonist. She then asks him to close his eyes and leaves, but soon returns. At this point, she has already changed into normal clothes with a wig on her head. Ava, having read the man's facial expressions, catches his sympathy for her, which embarrasses the guy and makes him blush. In the next scene, watching through the monitor, Caleb sees Ava slowly and defiantly removing her clothes. She knows Caleb is watching her. The boy wonders to Nathan why he gave the robot sex characteristics. The creator of this robot, seeing nothing wrong with it, didn't want to deprive Ava of her ability to fall in love and have feelings associated with her and even made her a full-fledged sex organ with multiple sensors. He also notes that Ava will experience pleasure during sexual intercourse. By the fourth session, Ava comes in already wearing clothes. Caleb confesses to her that his job is to test her to see if she has self-awareness or is just a well-programmed imitation. This information upsets the robot, and Nathan, who is watching them, is also surprised by this reaction. Then the lights go out and the guy realizes it was her doing. Caleb realizes that his choice for this experiment was deliberate, not random, and that the prank was just an excuse. He speculates on this and asks the robot's creator, Nathan, why he was chosen. In response, Nathan calls him the best programmer in the company capable of asking the right questions. Next, Caleb takes a shower and imagines he and Avil walking outside and kissing. 
Meanwhile, Nathan is enjoying Coco's company only already in reality. Later, the billionaire approaches and tears up Ava's drawings. Caleb, seeing this through the monitor, is worried. Caleb then enters the room and finds Kyoko there. She starts to undress, but he stops the girl. And at that moment, music starts playing in the room. Newton and Kyoko start dancing and suggest Caleb to join in the boy. Alarmed, asks Nathan why he tore up the drawing. Nathan, however, ignores his questions and vigorously tears up the dance floor. During the fifth session, Ava wants to test Caleb and she mentions that she won't be able to lie. At first, she asks simple and trivial questions as if from a school questionnaire. But then she moves on to something more serious and asks what will happen to her if she fails the test. And who decides if she'll be blacked out? No one can give answers to these questions. Suddenly the lights go out and she declares that she wants to be with her boyfriend. The last question she asks him is whether he wants the same from his conversation with Nathan. He learns that he is already creating a new program for the robot and the current version plans to zero out erasing all memories. At this point, the guy overwhelmed with emotion offers to have a drink or two soon. Nathan recites poetry while lying on the couch until he passes out. Caleb, seizing the moment, steals his key card and sneaks into Nathan's room. He then reviews the camera footage from which it becomes clear that Ava was far from the first robot prototype. One by one, he discovers the bodies of her predecessors in the closet. At this time, the sleeping guy starts to come to his senses and staggers toward his room. Hyoko gets up and pushing aside a piece of artificial leather shows off her mechanical insides. The guy, fearing that he too is a robot, checks himself for characteristic features by making a cut on his arm with a blade to his relief. The wound begins to bleed. The sixth session begins with Caleb asking for the power to be turned off. The boy reveals Nathan's plan and in turn devises an escape plan with the robot girl. The last day of his stay in the secret lab remains, and to mark the occasion, Guy suggests Nathan get drunk. The billionaire refuses to drink. He explains his refusal by the fact that he's been doing just that for the last few days. He further tells Caleb that he knows about their plans to escape. Nathan claims that Ava used the boy to escape. The billionaire shows Caleb a videotape of him discreetly installing a self-contained camera in the room where the sessions were held, as well as footage of their alleged plot. In doing so, he admits that he chose Caleb for his good-naturedness, and he even designed Ava's appearance by analyzing Caleb's profile on a porn site. The billionaire says that the essence of the test was to test the ability of artificial intelligence to resort to methods inherent in humans to get out of confinement, which was to prove the presence of intelligence in Ava. During their conversation, there is a sudden power outage. It turns out that Caleb, while Nathan was drunk, had managed to reconfigure the security protocol so that in the event of a malfunction, all the doors would open instead of locking. Realizing that Caleb has outplayed him, the billionaire knocks him out with a powerful right hook. Armed with a dumbbell handle, Nathan hurries to return all the robots to their places. Meeting Ava and Kyoko, he orders her back to the room, to which Ava clarifies if he will let her out later, to which he replies in agreement. However, as we remember, it's impossible to fool the robot in the next moment. Ava attacks Nathan, and soon he is lying on the floor. However, he manages to twist away and strike, cutting off her arm. At that moment, Hyoko comes up from behind and stabs the billionaire in the back. Nathan turns around and sends Kyoko into a knockout, but Ava takes the knife out of his back and plunges it right into her creator's heart. She takes the key card and removes herself from the scene. Walking over to the closet with her predecessors, Ava replaces her broken arm and puts on artificial skin. Caleb watches from the sidelines with his mouth open as she admires her new body in the mirror. Ava then puts on her clothes and leaving her prison, leaves a puzzled Caleb locked in his room while she heads off to enjoy the amazing world she has only seen through the window of her room. Caleb, left alone, tries to escape from his confinement, awaiting helicopter, takes Ava to civilization, to a place where a stream of people rushing about their business awaits her. Thanks for watching. Please share your impressions of the movie in the comments, and don't forget to like it if you enjoy the content. Also, post which movie you would like us to narrate for you.